In this video, I want to have a look at tangents and normals to exponential functions. So a few topics ago, we had a look at tangents and normals to other functions, and that was back when we first started introducing the derivatives. Um, so this time we want to look specifically at exponential functions, but there's a few things that you need to remember. The first one is that the derivative of a function is the gradient of the tangent. So if we evaluate the derivative at a particular point, it tells us the gradient of the tangent at that point. The second one is that normals are perpendicular to tangents. So if we know the gradient of the tangent, we can find the gradient of the normal. And the third one is that we use the point gradient formula. So y minus y1 equals m outside of x minus x1. So if we know a point that something passes through, that a line passes through, so x1, y1, and we know the gradient of the line, we can use this point gradient formula um, to find the equation of our tangent or our normal. So let's get straight into some examples. Our first one asks us to find the equation of the tangent to y equals e to the power of 4x minus 1 at x equals a quarter. So our x1 in our formula is 1 quarter. Our y1 is going to be e to the power of 4 times a quarter um, minus 1, which would be, well, e to the power of 4, minus, 4 times a quarter is just 1. 1 minus 1 is 0 and e to the power of zero is one. So our point, our x1, y1 is a quarter one. The next one we need is our gradient. So if y equals this, then our derivative would be four e to the four x minus one. So that means our derivative at a quarter would be four times, and we already figured out this was equal to one. So four times one, which is just four. So now that we know those values, we can use that form. So we'd have y, minus 1 equals 4 outside of x minus a quarter. So we'll have y minus 1 equals 4x minus 1. And then we can just rewrite it. So y equals 4x. All right, so this is the equation of the tangent to this line at x equals 1 quarter. Our second example asks us to find the equation of the normal this time to the curve y equals e to the power of minus x at x equals minus 1. So we're still going to use that y minus y1 equals m outside of x minus x1. We know that our x1, we want that to be at minus 1, which means our y1 is going to be e to the power of well, minus minus 1, which just be positive 1, so that'll just be e. Um, then we need to differentiate. So the derivative of this would be minus e to the minus x. So at minus 1, the derivative would be equal just to minus e. So that means that minus e is the gradient of the tangent. But this time we're looking for the normal. And we know that the normal is perpendicular. So that means we know it has to satisfy this relationship here. So if two lines are um, perpendicular, then their gradients satisfy m2 equals minus 1 over m1. So that means out of the gradient that we're looking for would be minus 1 over minus e or just 1 over e. So now that we've got those three pieces of information, we can put it in there. So we'll have y minus e equals 1 over e outside of x minus minus 1, so plus 1. Now I'm going to go through and multiply everything by e. So we'll have e y minus e squared equals x plus 1. And then we'll just rearrange it. Because we can't get it in gradient intercept form, we can't make y the subject without putting fractions back in it, let's just rearrange it into general form. So we'd end up with x minus e y plus e squared plus 1 equals 0. So that is the equation of our normal.